And I think I gotta, I think I can stop talking myself now, which would be great. Nope, not yet. All right, sounding crazy. So ready to, f welcome to Fuckville. Uh, Fuckville number three, I, th yeah, fuck, no. I think there are two secrets in each level. Uh, so Fuckville number five. Um, we're stuck in the middle of fucking Ron Jer- Oh no! Whoops! <laughs>《Stuck in the Middle of Fucking Run, Jeremy and Fuckville over here. Oh, hi. I had to do solo commentary. You came in while I was speaking about Fuckville. Shrek is the mayor of Fuckville with his giant green deck. Go ahead. Thank you. Which one has a life? I don't know. I never hit those things. They have lives on them. Did y'all know that? No, because I don't have a life. I feel that. Uh, I feel that. Look, I've done it for two years. Nor do I have a soul. Oh, left trigger does that. Yeah. I'm surprised you never knew. About what? About the ground pound and the left trigger. I always did both because it, a lot of the games I played before it. Because uh, I don't know if I told you this, but I have like literally 500 games in my house. Nope, never knew that. I literally have 500 games in my house, so a lot of the games I'd play would use those types of controls. Which is why I, I can play ma- Oh! Oh! You're up. Yep. Uh, that's why I can play like all these types of games, because I'm just used to playing all the types of games. And then I stopped. GameCube is my shit. GameCube was- GameCube was really underrated. GameCube is my stomping ground. PS2 though. Never had it. The P first, first thing I got was a GameCube, then I had the GameCube up until we got the Wii. The Wii was also underrated. It was. I had some good games. Okami on the Wii was fun. Oh my god. So good. Never beat it though. Did you I never beat it! Did I tell you about that? Yeah, you did. I remember. You did. You said you like stopped like, at a boss because you, bi you bitched out. No, because my Wii bitched out. Oh, your Wii, your Wii was like, I can't. Because it's too hard. It's too hardcore for me. Yeah, because um, I was trying to get the last um, uh, invincibility bead. Oh, yeah. But the monster house that I had to do, it would freeze in the middle of it. And then I had to restart and go oh. through it all again. It would take... I tried for like uh. three fucking hours to get that fucking bead. And then I just gave up and I didn't go back because it was like, I can't do this. That's the worst. I actually did an Okami playthrough on my channel. Never oh, finished shit. it. What? Bro, you gotta finish that. I have to bring my PS2. And I did, I did the bully. I was doing bully and I was I was planning to finish that one. And then the disc crapped out on me. I just had a thought. Do we have the um, rocket nozzle? Uh, we might. We might. It popped up in Rico Harbor. We might have it actually. And we might be when did it be? When did it show it down there? No. Okay, so we don't have it. Yeah, yeah. It would show. It would say. It says it down there. Like there's a mysterious object at the. Uh... At the fountain. Yeah. Oh, okay. It says it. Um. <coughs> but then my disc crept out of me, and I was like, fuck. And then I just like I actually bought the game again, but I was like. Couldn't get the motivation. I got the motivation, but it was just like, I, do I want to? It was like I was doing other things. The impossible game is still my my thing. I gotta. I gotta do my annual video where I started getting really good at this stuff. The impossible game. You play the game? I played that game. I have. It took me 10 hours to be level 1. Really? I do commentary over it. Oh, yeah. But, so I did, it took me 10 hours to be level 1, and. Oh my god. It was. I, I went really hard in sophomore year. I would upload like 10 videos a day. Wow. And uh, what's it called? Yeah, I, I this is this was my like my I guess you call it my job. It's not my job. I love doing it. It's my hobby. But um, that was during my thing. That was during my 200 video special, and it was I made it. I mean, I was like, I'm gonna do three hours. So I played the good boss game for three hours straight. I played an hour of each level, oh and right at the end of the hour one, I beat it. And I have the video, and it's just me going like, I, I honestly like you know like there's. If you gotten far enough, it's like you get to that point where there's those triple fucking there's the double triple spikes, mm -hmm. and once you pass them, you're like, all right, this is it, you can do it. But I was just like super fucking tired. I was like, I'm just like fucking going into like commentary and just essentially I was just going into like autopilot. Yeah. And 
I was like, oh yeah, I'm just fucking, and I, I passed it in like two seconds later, I was like, oh shit, oh fucking shit, oh god, this is it, oh, oh, jizz, jizz, fuck. Jizz. I did jizz, it was a very mess, it was a big mess. God damn it, you gotta control that, you have a problem, son. I'm, I'm sorry, but I think the best part about like, doing commentary in the kitchen was that just all the strengths and soda were right next to me. The best part. Cause they're still right next to you, they're still in front of you. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, all I had to do was kick back in my chair. And they're right there. Nice. Uh, well, what I ended up doing uh, later, because I was like, I don't want to kick back in my chair, because then it causes editing. So I was like, take the whole two liter, just put it on my desk. <laughs> nice. Have you, uh, have you ever had, like, uh, Stop and Shop brand soda? Yeah. Okay. Dude, dude, have you ever had Dr. Bob? No. Oh my god, it's fucking Stop and Shop brand Dr. Pepper, it? and it's fucking hilarious just because it's called Dr. Bob. <laughs> I got really mad at Stop and Shop one day. Why? So, the Stop and Shop brand soda is a dollar. Yep. For three liters. Oh my god. It tasted exactly like every brand name soda there ever was. Oh my god. And then they fucking changed the recipe. The two liter was the same, but it wasn't three liters. I'm sorry. It was so angry. I was like, why would you do this? Holy shit, you are getting stepped on. I'm getting fucking stomped. Oh my god, do you want me to do this? We get one. Yeah, you're probably going to end up doing it. Get wrecked. Get fucking wrecked. Uh... Be proud. I, I hit one button. Shit. I'm proud of you for hitting one button. But I'm not proud of you for dying, because it's gonna happen. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, you did pick the fucking hardest one to do first. Oh, I did, didn't I? Yeah. I'm a man, kind of. Ooh! Don't let it hit you. I think I can, I think I can. Today we talked about, like, if someone named it. I think we talked about it. So we were just, like, talking about, like, the little... It was about dicks, and I was like, well, so like the little engine that could. <laughs> I think it was, I think I was making fun of the person that was uh, dick dick Snapchatting you. Probably. Oh my god, dude. Fucking. I need coins. You do need coins. Got some um, money. There's, what? Got some money. <laughs> I'm poor. Welcome to college. There's oh, coins up oh, there. oh, my savior. Get the coins. Jesus is taking the fucking wheel. You might have to get up onto the tree on the lower level. No, I got this. Don't do that. Swag. Um. Jesus Christ, at dinner, sending me a fucking video of him jerking off. Wait, wait, what? Yeah! You never told me what the video was! No, dude, he sent me a video, and then you guys were probably like, oh, he's probably jerking off. Upload and it to like, Pornhub. What? Upload it to Pornhub. Shit, it's gone. Yeah, if you, you, if guys... you saved it, you would have just been encouraging something. Oh, I definitely would have. I still got him though. I did, but I'm still like, uh. But yeah, he sent me a video of him jerking it at dinner after I was like, bro, I'm not in my room. Please don't do this. Actually, no, I didn't say do do this. I'll just be like, I'll respond later. Like. You really want the D. I had six messages from him. Well, I mean, you're tolerating this. I know. So you must really want the D. Bruh. It's been like months. Same, but I'm feeling fine. I'm thirsty. I'm not. I I have a crazy sex drive. I don't actually know what my, if I'm not with someone, I think I, I'm only like, I want to fuck this person if I'm emotionally attached to someone. Yeah, that's my problem. Like, I just feel too awkward doing hookups, but at the same time, it's like, I just want to get laid with no strings attached. You fucked that guy up, that poor dude. <laughs> I, I I don't I have no understanding what that means. What? I have no understanding what that means. It's like oh, I'm gonna hook up with no string attached. I I don't think I can do it. One, I wouldn't want to do it. Like I honestly think if some girl was to come up to me and be like, do you just want to fuck her? Be like, nah, I'm good. I just get too intimidated because I'm like, oh my god, they expect me to be good at this. And then the next rumor would be that I'm gay. I'm, you, we know it would happen. People would think I'm gay, like, you just, you turn that down? I, can, I don't know who it would be, but it would be like, maybe maybe the person was like, super, like, maybe she was attractive, and people would be like, wait, you turned that down? Are you gay? It's like, no, I just didn't fucking know her. Then, uh, then they would be like, no, you're totally gay. Nah. Who the I, fuck would say that? 
This is how I am. I don't think it is right to do that stuff about someone without being attached to the person. I respect that. I am old school. I'm trying to change that about myself just because fucking I just want to get laid. Um, I don't I don't care if that makes me a hoe or like a fucking slut. Which it shouldn't. You're a slut if you go around fucking everyone. No. 